It's not. Oh, look at that. That is so pretty. So many beautiful rocks. That's a nice thing to find on my way out. Hi everybody, it's Kate from Katie Did. If you're new here, welcome, and if you're not, welcome back. We are going to go to the Yellowstone River near Mail City, see if we can find some rocks. Looks like a beautiful morning on the river. And I'm also delighted to discover that there's now a land bridge across to the island, so I don't have to get my feet wet this time. The last time I was here, this was all underwater, so maybe we'll find some fun things. Today, one of the things I'm going to look for is really colorful jaspers because I haven't been picking them up lately and I do have jasper available at my Etsy store, so I'm kind of running low. Um, so I'm guessing we'll be successful in that endeavor. That's pretty. This is really cool. This banded jasper cuts just beautifully and it's hard like agate, so it polishes too. There's the first agate of the day. Just because I'm looking for jasper doesn't mean I'm not going to pick these up. Ooh, look at how pretty that is. I like that. I thought maybe this was a Montana agate, but looking at it cl more closely, you can see it's not very clear and the skin is super smooth. Montana agates usually have kind of little divots and lumps and bumps in them. So it's a piece of quartzite and we're going to leave it behind. Here is an eeny weeny but very pretty little agate. This one's a little bit of a puzzler. Take a look at the kind of the flow on this side, but that color is pretty agate-y. Let's just wash the whole thing off and see what it looks like. Nope, sadly it's pretty milky. That's okay. It's too heavy to carry with me anyway. This seems to be a really pretty jazz bag. Let's see if we can get the sunshine. We're partly cloudy today. Nice. The agates are a little few and far between on this stretch of beach, but the little ones are always very pretty. Look, it's some kind of monster skeleton. Ooh. Actually, I think it might be a dead carp, but I like the monster idea better. There we go. Anyway, what do you think? Is it an agate? Oh, it's really an interesting thing. It's not exactly an agate. It's like an agate conglomerate. Look at all the little white streaks in there. Well, I don't care if that's not clear. That is going to be just beautiful, and I'm going to bring it home. Okay. Of course I didn't bring my screwdriver, which I have on the back porch, but I'm going to try to dig this out because it very well could be an agate. It could also be a milk agate. It's hard to tell when it's in the ground like this, but let's take a look. Yep, sadly it's a milk agate. These actually can cut very nicely. Uh, they're just not as desirable. So if you're down here and you're just collecting for yourself and you want something pretty to, to cut, Milk agates are just fine. If you're collecting and you have an eye on what other people might want to have, milk agates go back in the ground. This, on the other hand, is definitely an agate. I've been trying to only pick up smaller stuff because I'm quite a ways in and it's quite a hike back with my backpack full. But this is a 
brecciated jasper that has been filled with agate material. What a beauty. Definitely harder when the sun goes under the clouds, but this one looks pretty agony. Let's see what it looks like on the other side. Yeah, no, it's a chert nodule. See, the problem when the clouds go under is that you can't see the translucency of the agate, and some of these jaspers and chert have the same kind of skin and shape, so. <coughs> Isn't that a pretty little rock? I've never been down this way before. It's essentially an island, only it's connected, so I guess it's a peninsula now. And boy, look at all these huge trees that were just tossed aside like they were sticks. Look at the color on that agatized wood. This is actually a jasper type mineral in there, that red stuff. Wow, that's really pretty. This is really dark, but this skin on top makes me wonder if it's an agate. Whoa, it's like a black agate. Oh, I see. It's almost completely filled with manganese. But we'll take that along and take a little closer look at it. That's really interesting. Okay, how about this one? It's got some red on it, so it's not... Oh, look at that. That is so pretty. Looks like a water line, probably. Oh, so cool. Yay! Here's another agate. I guess we're far enough down the beach now that the, the ones that were not hardcore just kind of turned around. Left these here for me. Here's a nice one. It's got some kind of bumps in the bottom. Those are sort of botryoidals, I guess. Nice. I keep seeing signs of people looking for rocks. Rocks turned over, rocks missing, rocks that have chips taken out of them. But there are still some left. There's some really pretty petrified wood. Isn't that nice? This looks promising. Oh, isn't that fun? Oh, it's got some nice swirls on the back. We'll clean that off and look at it later. This lovely little water line was just lying on the gravel here saying, take me home. Somebody else didn't want me, but I know you do. You're right.
I've got so many other things in my pack, I'm trying not to pick up Jasper anymore, but this one, who could resist? Yep, it's another mill, uh, it's another water line. Two days ago, it was 104 degrees. Yesterday, we had a really nice rain. Today, it's 63 and partly cloudy. It is a wonderful day to be out on the beach. This big chunker is probably another jazz bag. I'm gonna wash it off because I'm right next to the river. Yep, just bag it. That's okay. I didn't want to carry it in my pack anyway. Now here's an interesting one. This is the bottom of it. And this is the top that was covered with silt. And it's a just a big chunky water line agate, but it has tons of dendrites in it too. Very interesting. It started to rain just as we got back to the main beach, so I guess I'm done hunting for the day. I hope you enjoyed yourself. I definitely did. Thanks for coming along. This is Kate from Katie Did. Keep on doing. <laughs>